Hey guys, Shelby and Emily here. So, um, due to certain circumstances, we have had to um, recast the Abraham for this last Abraham video. So, um, we apologize for that, but it's okay because Brennan is doing a great job. So, thank you for your cooperation and we hope you enjoy this video. Sarah lived to be 127. Abraham and Isaac mourn the loss of her. Put your hand under my thigh and swear to me that you will not take a wife from the land of the Canaanites. What if she would not come back with me? Then shall I take Isaac to the land of Canaan? Not under any circumstances must you take Isaac to the land of the Canaanites. If you find a woman, if a wife will not come with you, then you're free from this oath. I swear. Lord, please allow me to find a wife for Isaac. Let the girl who I say, please let me have a drink of water from, also offer to water my camels. Let her be the one you have appointed for, for your servant Isaac. Then a beautiful woman appeared. Now please have some water from your jug. Of course. I'll water your camel too. <laughs> who is your father and tell me have room for me and my camel to stay? My father and Bethuel. We have plenty of room in our barn. Thank you, Lord, for not withholding your kindness from me and my master. Rebecca ran to tell her family the news. Hey, what are you doing out here? Ma's cooking taters and we got a place for your camel. I am Abraham's servant. The Lord has greatly blessed my master, and he has become rich. He has given him sheep and cattle, silver and gold, male and female slaves, and camels and donkeys. Sarah, my master's wife, bore a son to my master in her old age, and he has given everything he owns. My master put me in his oath, You will not take a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites, in whose land I live. But I will go to my father's household, and to my family will take a wife for my son. But I said to my master, Suppose the woman will not come back with me. He said to me, The Lord before whom I will walk with his angel, and you will make your journey a success. And you will take a wife for my son and my family and my father's household. Then you will be free from my oath, and you will go on to be my family and not give her. You will be free from my oath. Before I had finished praying in my heart, there was Rebecca coming with her jug on her shoulder. And she went down to the spring and drew water. So I had said to her, Please let me have a drink. She quickly lowered her jug from her shoulder and said, Drink, and I'll water your camels. So I drank, and she also watered the camels. Then I asked her, Whose daughters are you? She responded, The daughter of Bethuel and son of Nahor, whom Michael bore to him. So I put the ring on her nose and the bracelets on her wrist. Then I bowed down and worshipped the Lord and praised the Lord, the God of my master Abraham, who guided me the right way to take the daughter of my mother's brothers for his son. There she is. But she's right there. Take her and go. The Lord has spoken. Send me to my master. You know, let her stay a little while. You know, she could leave later. Do not delay me. The Lord has made my trip successful. Well, let's ask her. Will you go with this man? I'll go. Our sister, may you become thousands upon ten thousands. May your offspring possess the gates of their enemies. So Rebecca mounted the camel and they went to meet Isaac. Who's that? That's Isaac. So Isaac and Rebecca got married and they lived happily ever after.